Hi everyone, this is Anna Finch from Finch Press Publishing. Now, today's video is a book review of Boy Overboard by Morris Gleitzman. Now, this is basically a story about two kids, Jamal and Bibi, who are from Afghanistan and they are they want to escape um, from it. They them and their family escape from Afghanistan because of the laws that were at the time, and they to go on this journey to come to Australia. Um, they are innocent little kids. You see the story through mainly Jamal's eyes and he's very naive, he's very innocent. He doesn't understand certain things. Um, so like he believes that if he plays good enough for the soccer and represents Afghanistan for the soccer that he could his family could be safe and stay in Afghanistan. Now, the author is neither a refugee nor someone from Afghanistan. So he's actually an Aussie author, I believe. Um, but he um, did communicate and talk with people who were refugees and he did talk with people who were from that culture to tell this story because he wanted people to know about the um, things that these families had to do to survive, to escape war, to escape violence and why they did this. Um, and basically to try and show people that these, the people who are escaping these countries, their people, their kids, their families that want a better life. Um, so you can see he really sympathizes, sympathizes with the people who are in this experience. Um, his story is interesting. The characters are interesting. I felt for Jamal, especially when at the end he realises the place he's in. It's not Australia. It's a camp or a detention centre. The disappointment that he's not in Australia, but happiness that he's with his family that he's been reunited for with his family that he's got a place to stay that he's not being exposed to war and not having to run and continue to run for his life um so you can feel for them and the it, what happens to them on their journey to australia the uh, smugglers extorting more money from them the pirates that attack them um and he, hurt him the boat that was filling up with water and could have sunk before the Australian ship came and the fact that the way the Australian government is presented is probably fairly accurate um, the person who get, helps them off the boat and takes them to a place where Jamal thinks is Australia but it's actually a detention centre the, the fact he takes them there and helps them stay safe and he says that he w they had seen them sooner, earlier, they had seen them earlier, but they couldn't rescue them sooner because, and he blames paperwork. Um, now, that did happen. There were actually instances where Australia knew there was a refugee ship in need of assistance uh, and delayed the rescue. Um, there was actually an incident a few years ago where um, I think it was the Dutch or some other country had rescued the refugee ship who had been struggling to stay afloat because Australia refused to help. Um, so a lot of this is, it is related to events that have actually happened and it's very realistic. This is an enjoyable text. It took me less than an hour to read. Uh, the language is fairly simple and accessible for young readers. So kids in grade five, so these are primary school kids, 10 years old, roughly, 10, 11 years old and up could read this. Um, and a lot of people can relate to this, especially children who come from refugee backgrounds can relate to this. And it can expose children who don't come from those backgrounds to the stories and of and the stories and experiences of these people and it can introduce a different perspective which is a good thing 
this can connect to the Australian curriculum. So um, it can connect to do with literature as well as um, analysis, text response, you can do a comparison. Um, it can relate to it and the themes in here are very relatable to children. Uh, hope, okay, um, hope is the big one, but this is fairly relatable. There are a lot of resources for this because this is this came out when I was in uh, primary school. When I was in primary school, yeah, when I was in primary school, this was published in two thousand and two, so eighteen years ago. So I was in primary school when this came out, um, and I've just reread it, and it is, I still find it enjoyable. The way it's written is really interesting. Um, I loved it. Um, there are there are teachers notes and resources for this there are chapter summaries quotes uh, activities and lessons based on this because this has been studied before in other schools so it's it's good for a text response and it's good for a text for the Australian curriculum because there's a lot of resources that go with it there is a sequel called girl underground um, the girl underground is like a, it's sort of a sequel um, where these kids try to escape the detention, where some of the kids try to escape a detention centre. And the actual detention centre in the sequel was one that was shut down because of human rights violations and the horrific conditions people were kept in. So I'm planning on rereading that one as well because it's very interesting. Um, so for enjoyment, I would give this... Actually, honestly, I'd give it a 10 out of 10. I loved it. I loved it. It's interesting. The language is accessible. The characters were compelling. The plot was interesting. The themes can resonate with a whole range of people. It's good. And for um, curriculum, 9 out of 10. It's a, it, it is an amazing piece of literature for the curriculum. Now... On my, other, on my book list for things I wanted to read this year, I put another book series by Morris Gleitzman, uh, Once Then Now series. Um, don't plan, I don't planning, I don't planning on reading it. I read the first few pages of one of those books. No longer planning on reading it because it didn't grab my attention. But this one was written in a way that engaged me from start to finish. So I highly recommend it. If you haven't read it, do read it. It's a really good book. Um, yeah. Um, if you like this, hit press the like button down below. Um, if you want to be notified of when I upload videos, press the subscribe button. See you next time.